G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. In this video today we're going to have a look at the basic Norman helmet by Medieval Fight Club. Okay, this is a really good helmet, I really like it. Single piece of steel which has been pressed and then has a um, metal strap I suppose around the side. You have the stereotypical kind of nasal guard and that's then riveted onto the helmet itself. Really good construction, you have a leather suspension system inside with a, um, a strap on it. Great. Um, this is really good for LARP and reenactment use and also sort of stage and that kind of thing. It is an 18 gauge helmet. Uh, it costs $85 which is completely reasonable for a helmet like this. 1.2 millimeters thick which is, is quite reasonable um, and I think actually historically accurate too for some of the, um, the less sort of well-off soldiers during the medieval period. Uh, and it weighs 890 grams. That's all the information I, I really have on it. Obviously, it's a it's a um, a modern steel, simple sort of stainless steel type construction, um, which is quite adequate. It's not a medieval steel. Medieval steels would have um, been very different uh, according to where you were in the period, um, and it has an internal dimension of uh, 600 centimeters around a circumference. That's probably a little bit small. Um, I certainly don't have room to wear a padded coif and a chainmail coif uh, at the same time. So um, this is great for kids, this is great for smaller people, um, or people with a smaller head, but it, it's, it's probably not, you know, um, super great. If you're going to get into steel combat, um, then I probably would be looking for something a little bit higher spec. But for those people who are looking at an entry level helmet, this is really good. Um, it's very easy to look after. Uh, you know, the construction, as I say, is quite good. I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. Fantastic price, thoroughly recommend it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you in my next video.